For my next example, I'd like to work out an entire three set um, problem. And so I'll go back to using A, B, and C. And let's suppose we're given the following information to work out this problem. The number in the intersection of all three sets is 1. The number in the intersection of A and B is 4. The number in the intersection of A and C is 5. The number in the set difference, A minus B, is 6. The number in the intersection of B and C is 3. The number in the set difference, B minus A, is 9. And the number in the union B union C is 22. And the problem is to determine the number of elements in each of the three sets A, B, and C. Okay, so I remind you in using a Venn diagram to analyze your survey data that you want to start in the center, center of the diagram. So that's right up top here the intersection of all three sets, one. So that goes in the center. And then we just work our way down. The next bit of information says that A intersect B is four. Where is A intersected with B? Well, it's here, right? There's where A intersects B. Now, this region here already has one element in it. And so that means that this region up here must have 4 minus 1 or 3 elements in it. Okay, we work our way down. Next bit of information A intersect C has 5 units. Where's A intersect C in our diagram? Well, it's right here. That's where A and C overlap. Okay, if this region has 5 units, 5 elements, I mean, and this one already has 1 then there must be four in this region. Okay, the next bit of information that we have is a set difference, A minus B. A minus B is six. Where is A minus B? Well, it's that part of A which does not overlap B, so that would be this here, okay? Put your thumb over set B, and then what remains uh, that we can see of set A, that's A minus B. Well, this region here has four units, four elements in it, and so this must have six minus four or two. Okay, the next bit of information says B intersect C is three. Where is B intersect C? Well, it's here. That's where B and C overlap. Okay, and if the intersection has three, this region has one, that means there must be two elements in here. B minus A is nine. Where is B minus A? Well, it's that part of B not overlapped by A. So that's here. Again, I'll put my thumb over A so it's easier to see. Okay, so that part of B which is not in A is here. And if this has 9 in it, this has 2. That means this must be 9 minus 2 or 7. 
Okay, finally, B union C is 22. So that means we should be able to work out what's in this region here. Now B union C, that's all of B and all of C. So there's 10, 14, 17. So that means this region here must have 22 minus 17 or 5 elements in it. So now we've completed the analysis. It just remains to count up the number of elements in each of the sets A, B, and C. Okay, so for A, we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1. That's 10. For B, we have 3 plus 7 plus 1 plus 2, that's 13. And for C, we have 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5, that's 12.